hello guys and welcome back to another video so in today's video we're going to be unboxing and reviewing a very special fragrance so i'm not going to take a lot of time let's get into it right now no cuts no nothing because i don't want to spend a lot of time in doing doing the montage i think it's better that i give you more content than spending time in the computer doing oh i should cut the scene oh no no one take let's do it so here i will uh, unbox this i hope it doesn't take too long then this scene i will cut it but the others we're doing a one shot guys we're destroying this box okay i don't give a fuck anymore <laughs> <sighs> just came back for the gym ready to show my strength my power ah. okay Ooh, we have a sample a green leaf and i've never smelled green leaf ever so wow uh thank you fragrance but shit man Wow, we're starting the, the day very good uh thank you uh fragrance by i'm not sponsored by the way but thank you for this uh, sample even though i didn't uh ask for a sample but thank you very much now the main fragrance man i hope the mic is working everything is uh, working fine we have well, roja elysium parfum cologne uh difficult name i don't know what parfum cologne is it a parfum is it a cologne i am not sure but we will find out so see the presentation elysium by roja parfum then in the back you have uh i don't know <laughs> i can't see but you guys can see actually elysium pour homme parfum cologne 100 ml 3.4 uh, ounce ingredients alcohol blah blah manufactured by roja parfum made in england so this is a new uh all fragrances are usually made in france or spain and sometimes italy but in england because roja parfum is from england so now we're going to unbox this and give my first impressions because guys this is a blind buy yet again i've never smelled roja elysium but i've heard so many good um people talk about it say wow it smells so good it's fantastic it's very good quality uh, blah 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 it's a very expensive blue uh, citrus opening and that is exactly what i like those aromatic fougere fresh is what i like the most so i hope i will not be disappointed if i am then i'll just guess i have a beautiful bottle in my collection that by the way guys i'm gonna show soon in this background because i know it's just plain white it's boring next time i will have a drawer with all my collection so i can please the desire and hunger of your eyes see you soon we shall continue and i shall talk like this because this is made in england so i will suit the environment better so now let's unbox this okay, the, the box is solid a little bit okay how do you open this oh there's something here oh you push it okay push it no 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 i have to see first guys because oh man look at this man roja elysium and i'm gonna be careful because i don't want to drop it so huh. i must say this is a very good like velvet like type of uh i don't know how to call this uh, coffin like it's inside and it's velvety so it's comfortable for the bottle but i want to test it look guys the cap is absolutely magnificent okay i don't know if you can say that look at this roja made in england a fragrance roja dove elysium but now let's not waste any more time let's get into it the cap lasting roja his signature and these beautiful like uh ornaments of like gold okay bro. let's spray it first time never smelt it oh the atomizer
Oh, oh, oh guys. <clears throat> oh. No, no. First impressions. Mmm. You know what? First impressions, when I spray this, I will spray it again so I can confirm. Beautiful atomizer, by the way. Oh, the top it smells like a soda. It has that gas, like sparkly energy. But that sparkly energy. Oh my god, there's so much going on in here. I smell some citrus. I smell some leather. Some woody notes. Guys, I know this fragrance has a lot of notes. So I don't know what I'm smelling right now. But one thing I can tell you is goddamn it smells good, man. Oh. So off the top, it has that fresh aromatic citrus blast. But immediately I get a whiff of some leather. And I don't know if it's like a pineapple, but it smells like pineapple. And I will not lie. When I first sprayed this just now, for a couple of seconds, I thought it was a Creed Aventus because it has some similarities to it. That's why I said it smells a little bit like pineapple. Overall, it's fresh, citrusy, aromatic. I can definitely smell something fougère, uh, aromatic in, in the sense like it smells a little bit like something like lavender, sage, uh, all those green herbal notes. But overall, I it's a very light and light scent, okay? It's very light. It's not something that is strong. Yeah, the, the, the top smells very citrusy, like you've just uh, entered a garden of citruses and you have some herbs here and there. And then you have someone hiding in the back of the, the garden. Must be the gardener. He's wearing like a, a leather jacket because you get some of that leather. But it's, it's very far. He's sneaky, that guy. He's sneaky, but you can see him. So that's how it smells. Then, guys, that's it. I think that's it. Like, there's nothing going on with this. Oh shit, I got alcohol. <laughs> I think I will cut this part, guys, but if you see it, you're lucky. So, yeah, off the top, literally smells like Creed Aventus in the top. And not 100% Creed Aventus, but it smells similar to Creed Aventus because I literally get that pineapple. Yeah, you can't tell me there's no pineapple in here because it's impossible. There's some pineapple, of course, you have that lime, citrus, bergamot, whatever going on. So yeah, after that, it, wow, wait. Now that citrus is completely gone. It's like a dry, woody base with some vetiver. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm getting right now. It's like the sparkly and citrusy, everything is gone. And guys, just, just let's. It's Roja Elysium. Roja Parfum. Roja Elysium. Elysium, mmm. Smell like Redeventus. Smells so good. You smell fresh, citrusy. Uh, I'm not sponsored, guys, so. Uh, uh, Fuck, I got some in my tongue. No, 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 guys, I'll be back. Tastes good. Smells good. What What else can it do? Uh, I've heard reviews about this saying it doesn't last a shite. And by, by saying shite, I'm opting to represent England and the old-fashioned English. Yeah, uh, some people say it lasts like four or five hours. Man, I don't know. If you guys want to see the performance, I can give you right now because i need to test this for like a few days two three days then i will do a separate video on this so yeah now for some reason i don't really smell it on my skin i've sprayed it here on the back of my 
hand and I don't smell anything and I sprayed it here and I'm barely smelling anything so guys it's a bad sign I think doesn't make any sense unless I'm nose blind but I've only sprayed this just right now so I'm gonna also test it on paper and hopefully it smells something So, uh, on paper, I can actually now smell the fragrance entirely. So, on this paper, now we get really that freshness of the citrus that doesn't just go in two minutes, like on my skin for some reason. I get some of that sweetness. Definitely the ambergris, because like I said, in the opening it smells a little bit like Creed Aventus, so Creed Aventus, what does it have? It has pineapple, it has woods, it has ambergris, it has leather, um, and not vanilla, I don't think so. But this one has some sweetness, which I believe to be the, of course, the fruits, but also some vanilla and the ambergris. So yeah, overall, this smells, well, at least to my nose, Elysium smells a little bit like, well, not just a little bit. It smells not almost identical, but in the same scent DNA of Creed Aventus. Just made more fresher, less wittier, if that makes sense. So yeah, overall, this is a very good fragrance, I must admit. It's a very fresh, balanced, fruity citrusy off the top and it has some character evolving into this fragrance as well uh, with the notes of leather ambergris vanilla and uh, if i'm not mistaken benzoin and also labdanum so it has some character in the base and off the top it is very fresh so it is a complex fragrance and for the price i hope it is man because this is not so cheap okay this is like It'll run you about like $300. It is very expensive. But to be honest, oh, it smells more expensive than designer fragrances. I hate these guys on motorcycles, especially the light ones. Like, man, chill. So, like I was saying, it is more expensive smelling than your typical designer fragrance, like. Guys, Yves Saint Laurent, White Eau de Parfum. This smells synthetic, synthetic apple, uh, synthetic other notes, but at the end of the day, it smells great and it does the job. But this one is much more higher quality, made with real ingredients that you can literally smell uh, because you're paying that price. So yeah, overall, first impressions, I would say it's like an A solid 8.5 yeah 8.5 because mm, the citrus that turns like a little bit sour but sweet and yeah this fragrance has character but it is not the most masculine Creed Aventus is more masculine than this fragrance this is more like unisex but it smells good so like I said I will upload a second video with me actually wearing this today and by the way just to prove it, I will spray it and yeah, let's spray it right now because I want to keep my word. Okay, so you saw my strategy two here, two here behind each ear. Wow, it rhymes actually. Two behind my neck and one in the chest collar. Not here, guys. Spray really beneath. Uh, under your neck because it's gonna leave a red stain because of the alcohols you don't want that man you want to look clean elegant fresh man top notch always all the time so i hope you like this uh first impressions unboxing i will upload the second man i talk too much thank you guys for watching
actually smells really nice. Man. Rosa Dove, perfect uh, fragrance, Elysium, very well made, blended. Yeah, thank you for watching again. If you like this video, please, man, don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye.